This is a Game Caviar production. All right, Caviars and Caveats is not having in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm playing Sleeping Dogs on PC, a game that I picked up. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, starting a YouTube channel and some tips that you can use if you want to get into this and some of the things that I learned. But, uh, but real quick, this game is really cool. It's unique. If you don't know anything about Sleeping Dogs, it's like a Grand Theft Auto type game. Um, uh, it's open world. You play as an undercover cop and you have to do two things. You have to uphold the law like a cop, but at the same time you have to make the people, the gang that you're infiltrating, uh, believe that you're actually part of the gang and not an undercover cop. Otherwise, you'll blow your case. Uh, B20. The video that we uploaded last night, he hit me up on Facebook. He said, uh, I want to get to YouTube. Can you help me out? Can I send you a video and you uh, work your magic on it and upload it to the channel? I was like, yeah, no doubt. The reason why I did that is because when I got into YouTube, there wasn't really anybody to say, okay, yeah, you're, you, you're a new YouTube person. No doubt. I'm going to mentor you and tell you what to do here. It was like, you know, fend for yourself, which is cool because I don't have a problem doing that. But at the same time, it's nice to have somebody that looks out for people who are just getting into YouTube. And the whole basis behind Game Caviar is, look, we're for our subscribers. So if one of our fans or one of our subscribers, one of our caviars or caveats, they say, look, not having it. I love your work. I want to have a channel just like you. Can you help me out? I will say yes. You send me a video, I will review it. I will give you a, a um, my thoughts on it. And I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be truthful and I'm going to let you know, "Hey, look, the video is cool. This is some of the things that you need to improve on." And then we'll go from there. And it's just simple. That's what I did with uh, B20. He sent me a video. I told him, hey, man, you know, the video was awesome, by the way. Awesome video. For that to be his first video, I mean, his first video is like a million times better than my first video. You know, I should put the link to my first video in the description so you can see. I didn't even have my voice on the first video. It was so screwed up that I had to use the... Uh, the, the what is that the YouTube audio thing and put some weird music on it. It was a disaster But anyway, I just gave him some tips of things that he can improve on. I'm sure he will this guy's eager and um, You know, hopefully if everything works out he could become part of the game caviar team. That's awesome, but uh, Some of the things that I learned is you got to be animated Okay, not every person who watches your YouTube video is going to watch your YouTube video if that goes over your head, let me explain it. It's a lot of times where I've seen people say, look, I don't even watch your videos for the gameplay. I just like hearing what you have to talk about. And a lot of that comes from people who are talking about something that people are interested in and who can deliver the topic in a manner that keeps people interested. I don't want to, um, I don't want you guys to get into YouTube and to be shy and and actually uh, have a monotone voice because nobody's gonna want to hear you if you do that. When I first started, I was really timid and I was really shy. And going back and looking at those videos, I was like, you know, I, I can understand why I wasn't getting any views because those videos they they're boring. They're boring to me, and I made them. So, uh, be animated, speak up, uh, talk about something of substance. Just be funny, you know, if you screw up, make, you know, joke about yourself, you gotta be loose. There are people that are gonna be relentless on you because there are internet tough guys all over YouTube, I've been through it. But you can't let that stuff get to you because a lot of the times when people say stuff like, oh my God, you suck, you can't talk, you can't make a video, those people that have not made a video of their own. So they can't really truly criticize you on something that they haven't done themselves. You gotta be, you gotta have tough skin and you gotta roll with the punches. So be animated, roll with the punches. Uh, of course, I would say have good gameplay, have a variety of gameplay. Uh, there are, there may be a few people out there that love to see Moab videos, okay? 
But if you're always doing the same thing, it's going to get boring. Trust me. Trust me. There are some channels out there like every time, every video is, look, I got a Moab on this. I got a Moab on that. I got a Moab on this. It's the same game and the same thing. You know, it's the same shit, different toilet, basically. I don't want to see that. Uh, I would, if that's what you would like to do, fine. Okay, that's great. I'm not going to put a gun to anybody's head, but still, have a variety. Have newer games. You know, stay relevant. Uh, have news. Talk about things that people want to talk about. Um, I'm going to, this is part one. I'm going to think of some more stuff later on today and make a part two. And then I'm going to drop some more knowledge on you guys. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if you uh, have any ideas, let me know in the comment box. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.